He was commander of the U.S.-led coalition that drove Saddam Hussein from Kuwait in the first Gulf War. It was a campaign for General Norman Schwarzkopf that topped off a decorated military career. Schwarzkopf commanded Operation Desert Storm, a coalition of 30 countries organized by President George H.W. Bush that drove Iraq out of Kuwait in 1991. America and the world drew a line in the sand, and tonight, America and the world have kept their word. He was known as Storm and Norman for his temper, a much decorated combat soldier in Vietnam. A great American ambassador, a great American. We love you, we love you, General. Schwarzkopf became a national celebrity after the Gulf War, at one point rejecting suggestions he run for public office, preferring to keep a lower profile for a general. Schwarzkopf was born August 22, 1934 in Trenton, New Jersey, son to the founder and commander of the New Jersey State Police. He went to West Point, serving for two tours in Vietnam, earning three silver stars, among other decorations. While others left the Army disillusioned by Vietnam, Schwarzkopf stayed, helping rebuild it into an all-volunteer force. He retired from the Army in 1992, writing a best-selling autobiography, becoming active in charities for chronically ill children. Schwarzkopf said he was known as a general, but liked to think he had more dimension than that. As a caring human being, he said. Lee Powell, The Associated Press.